Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back. It is five o'clock in the morning, and I've got a bunch of stuff on my mind, and I can't sleep. So we're just gonna make the crew area tour. We're gonna do it right now, right here, right now. This is Riley Tench's incredible, amazing, fantastic crew area tour of Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas. Let's do it. All right guys, so we're gonna start it out in kind of a familiar location for you guys. This is actually the forward gangway of the ship and you guys probably won't recognize it as it is right now because normally we've got all the security terminals and the metal detectors and the x-ray machines set up all over the place. But this is where normally if you're getting on or off the cruise ship during a port day, and you know, like visiting the port, this is one of the many locations that you can get off the ship. This is down here on deck two forward. Now guys, we're in the middle of a global pandemic right now. So, you know, this whole area is just being used for storage right now. There's no guests on board, so we don't need that space. So yeah, you can see there's like all these fogging machines over here for disinfecting stuff. We've got a whole fleet of them over there as well. And yeah, this whole room is just filled up with empty baggage carts. It's, it's kind of sad. <laughs> so immediately coming out of the forward gangway, you've got this super big, long, incredibly long hallway that essentially spans the entire length of the ship. A lot of cruise ships have this hallway and it goes by different names on different ships. On here, we call it the I-95 because you know, it's, it's like the interstate that goes from Florida up the East Coast because Royal Caribbean is based in Florida, I-95. Anyway, if you're a crew member on the ship and you wanna get anywhere on the ship very quickly, this hallway is how you do it. You can get pretty much to all the main central elevators on the ship all the crew elevators, it's a very fast way to get around and move luggage and hand carts and supplies and food and people all over the place as quickly as possible. So yeah, I-95, central artery of the ship, moving on. Also, by the way, the design of the crew areas and the ships in general between Anthem of the Seas, Quantum of the Seas, and Ovation of the Seas are pretty much identical. So if you've been on any of those three ships, you can safely assume that you have a general idea of what the crew areas look like on all of those ships. Okay, so our next stop is actually a little bit more forward of the forward gangway. We're actually directly underneath the theater, the giant theater at the front of the ship right now. This is deck two, a little bit more forward. This is the crew mess. This is where the crew normally eats three meals a day. It's all buffet style and they just bring out different types of dishes every single day. Obviously, again, since the ship is completely shut down right now, the crew's not eating here at the moment, and we just eat upstairs at the Windjammer, which is the guest buffet. But yeah, this is the place where you come to eat, grab yourself a midnight snack in the middle of the night, which I could probably use right now because it's, well, honestly, it's 5.30 in the morning now, and I could probably use some breakfast. But yeah, food, crew mess, this is the food place. I, I, I don't know what else to say. That, that's all there is to say. You get, you get food here. All right, moving on. So behind me here is the crew cafe. Now it's totally torn apart right now. We're doing some maintenance on this part of the ship, but this is normally where you would be able to come and, you know, get yourself a coffee or some hot chocolate, or they even have like freshly squeezed orange juice here in the mornings. It's incredible. They also have the option here for crew members to buy discounted bottles of wine and liquor and stuff like that, if that's your thing. Oh, also it's, it's totally covered up right now. But over here is the library. This, there's, there's actually like a bookshelf here, but like I said, it's all torn up and stuff. And over here is the crew computer lab. So if you didn't bring a laptop with you on the ship, this is where you could come and get access to the internet. And they even offer like free online Rosetta Stone courses for people to like brush up on different languages and stuff like that. Also, if you didn't bring a laptop with you on board and stuff, this computer lab is where you would do your trainings and stuff for like stuff that the company wants you to do to learn how to be a better crew member. Oh, and we've also got an ATM machine for cash. All right, guys, that's the crew cafe. And now we're gonna head up stairs 
two decks. We're gonna go up to deck four forward and I'm gonna show you that area. All right, so as far as live entertainment on the ship goes, this is our main office. This is where the magic happens. This is where we'll have social gatherings and meetings and just talk about upcoming events and performers and coordinate maintenance and all sorts of stuff. This is our main hub of operations to create schedules and do all that boring administrative stuff that people do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Also, there's this little door here off to the side of the office, and it's pretty dark in here, sorry, but this is where we store a large majority of our spare parts for lights and sound equipment and video equipment. So if something breaks, there's a very good chance that I'll be coming here to find a part to fix it. All right, so we're now here in the crew gym. This is still on deck four forward. In fact, this is about as far forward as you can go on deck four. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a gym specifically for the crew to use to work out and exercise and blow off some steam where there's no guests around. We've got plenty of different machines and workout options here. We've got a punching bag. We've got free weights over there. We've got treadmills and stuff for cardio. And you know, it's a pretty well put together gym, all things considered. All right, guys, we're gonna go upstairs two more decks now from deck four forward to deck six forward. And we're gonna take a look at the crew bar, the rec room, and deck six forward, which is the very front of the ship, the open deck. Whew, getting tired, folks. Getting a little tired. It's getting to be morning now. <laughs> This here is the crew bar. So this is our private bar specifically for crew members only. Generally when the ship is in regular operation, this is the social hub for crew members to hang out when they're not working. You know, you can get drinks over here at the, at the bar. They got live music. We do DJ parties and stuff in here and all sorts of stuff like that. Game nights, trivia, we do all sorts of fun activities you know, when the ship is actually running. Obviously right now, global pandemic, this room has probably been empty for months now, you know? It really hasn't gotten any use since we stopped cruising with guests. All right, so behind me here is the crew rec room. This is where most of the games and activities take place. You know, they've got PS4s in the background there. Pool table, ping pong, foosball. And you know, it's just another fun place where you can come and unwind and relax and socialize with your friends. It's literally right across the hall from the crew bar. And especially when you've had a long day working in the theater, it is critical to have places like this to unwind. Moving on. All right guys, moving outside from the rec room, we're gonna head upstairs here to deck seven. This is the crew sun deck. So this is a private open deck that is specifically designated as a crew area where you can come outside and get some fresh air and some sunlight. This is the only open deck on the ship that is designated as a crew area. So it's really nice. You know, I really like hanging out with the guests most of the time, but sometimes you just want to get away from it all. And this is where I will come when I want to do that and get outside. And honestly, it's it's the best view in the house. It's the it's the front of the ship, guys. It's gorgeous out here. All right, guys, so now we're gonna head downstairs. We're gonna head back down to deck two, and then we're gonna go a little bit towards the aft part of the ship, and I'm gonna show you some of the other stuff. All right, back down on deck two. We're going past the crew cafe again, and past the crew mess. Everybody on the same page still? All right, so right past the crew mess, we've got this staircase here. Now this staircase goes all the way down to deck zero. Did you guys know there's a deck zero on cruise ships? Did you know that, huh? Fun fact. All right guys, welcome to Rock Bottom. This is the last of the three main entertainment venues for crew members on the ship. And this is all the way down in the bowels of the ship. Like we are literally on deck zero. It is so close to the water that when we're moving, you can hear the water flowing around the sides of the ship. We're completely underwater right now. We do have a bar that opens up occasionally over there in the corner. 
And then this area over here is the dance floor. We've got this whole kind of disco dance floor nightclub specifically designated for crew members. Now you can also see we've got all these chairs over here in the corner right now. Those are so that we can have meetings and trainings down here. So the second use of this multi-purpose space is actually our main training center. So, you know, if you need to get your trainings recertified on the ship, like learn about basic safety on the ship, learn how to operate a fire extinguisher, a fire hose, stuff like that. 99% of the time, those trainings are gonna be conducted in this room on those screens over there with a member of the executive team showing the crew members how things work on the ship. Crew members also have the option to reserve this space through the HR center as long as there's a slot open if they want to host their own personal events or activities. So I think that is a really cool program that we have on this ship too. If, if you want to throw a party, well, probably not a party, but you know, if you want to have a movie night or something with your friends, then you can set that up through the HR center and they will just make it happen. It's awesome. But again, like, you know, there's a pandemic and this room hasn't been used in about five months now, which is sad. You know, I'm probably one of the first people to come down here in months. Isn't that crazy? These rooms are just going completely abandoned and unused. It is what it is. Okay, so we're down here. We've actually come from the disco very far back towards the middle of the ship now and we are down here on what's called the tank top. This is the very bottom of the ship. You can't go any lower than this without like getting in the water storage tanks and stuff that's like way down there in the bottom. So this area here is called the uniform store. We actually use it for a lot more storage than just like crew uniforms and stuff. But this is the main area, you know, if you're like in housekeeping or restaurants, they're gonna have your uniform here. And this is where a lot of those people will come pick up their uniforms and get them tailored and stuff like that. The tailor shop is actually right there behind me. One of the great things about this company is that as long as you're wearing a company issued uniform, you don't have to pay for that whatsoever. It's totally provided for and all the maintenance and like if you get a rip in your shirt, you can come get it fixed for free right here. This whole part of the ship is just kind of a random series of passages and corridors. I think when you think of the bowels of a ship, this is what most people are going to conjure to mind. So behind me here is another storage area where we keep like lots of toilet paper and regular like copy paper and like office supplies and all sorts of stuff. Like everything you need to keep a hotel running, they're gonna be keeping it in here in the hotel stores. So we're moving towards the aft part of the ship now. This is the place where all of the garbage gets collected. This is the incinerator room. So all of our glass, all of our like beer bottles and wine bottles and all the glass on the ship gets crushed up and delivered to shoreside for recycling. We've got sorting stations for pretty much every single type of waste on the ship right now. So we've got three different types of glass, plastic bottles, aluminum cans, tin, tin cans, aerosol, pretty much everything you could possibly need to you know, recycle all the waste on the ship that can't be recycled gets chopped up in this like giant shredding machine and then dropped onto the deck below where it gets fed into a giant incinerator and we actually burn that waste for power on the ship. All right, moving a little bit farther back from the incinerator, we're coming up to the engine control room. Now, I really, really wish I could show you guys inside this room, but it is a restricted area. Most crew members, unless you have business being in that room, you're not allowed inside. But yeah, that's the engine control room right there around the corner. That door goes inside and that's where they manage all the engine systems and make sure everything's running. It's kind of the engineering headquarters for the ship. A good portion of the important people offices are right here in this hallway behind me in this door. This is just slightly aft of the engine control room. You've got the staff captain's office, chief security, the marine office and you know several other important offices are down that hallway most of the time if i need to go down there it's because i like need to get my keys from security or something like that it's a mess but it's fine okay moving even farther aft from the 
offices and stuff like that. We've got the broadcast room. This is down on deck one, all the way in the back of the ship. And this is just like the heart and brain and soul of pretty much every single video operation on the ship. So all of the TV channels are routed through here. All of the cameras for you know live events and stuff on the ship are routed through here. Pretty much anything that has to do with audio video on the ship is routed through this room and they have so much cool stuff. There's so much expensive technology in here. I love it. <laughs> and last but not least, guys, that brings us to the provisioning area. Now, this is the area of the ship that takes pretty much the entire lower back half of the ship. We've dedicated two full decks to storing food, beverages, alcohol, everything you need to keep an entire cruise ship population fed for the entire duration of the cruise. We've got a multitude of giant walk-in refrigerators, giant storage areas for dry goods and canned goods. We've got this storage area over here, which is specifically designated for liquor storage, and it's definitely under tight lock and key. You've got service elevators specifically for bringing goods up and down all over the place. Guys, this freezer is specifically designated just for ice cream. We've got an entire walk-in freezer on the ship specifically to store all of the ice cream. It, am I the only one that thinks that's super cool? And guys, this area is what we refer to as the aft shell gate. This is a huge corridor that spans the entire width of the ship in the back part. And this is where probably 90% of our cargo is brought on board so that we can unload it into the provisions area, get the food where it needs to go and stuff like that. And guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously I wasn't able to hit on everything in the crew areas. If I was gonna try to do that, that would take literally hours. But I hope that gives you at least a pretty good general idea of what the crew areas are like, at least here on the Quantum of the Seas. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like more videos like this, I make them all the time on my channel. So subscribe because, you know, that's, that's a good thing to do. <laughs> So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I really hope you enjoyed the video and have a fantastic rest of your life and stuff. Or not, it's your call. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>